Good morning students. Hope you are doing well and studying regularly. We have already finished our chapter food and digestion. Today we are going to revise the chapter. So let us start. So let us start with the revision of the chapter food and digestion which is chapter number 1. The first topic that we studied was nutrients in food. Second topic digestion of food. Third topic was preparing food. And the fourth topic was preserving food. So these were the four main topics that were part of this lesson. Now we will study few points that we discussed throughout this chapter. The first thing that we studied in this chapter was food help us to grow give us energy and it keeps us healthy. I repeat, food help us to grow, give us energy and keep us healthy. Then the food that contains carbohydrates and fats gives us energy and it keeps us warm. The other nutrients that food material contain is protein, especially egg, milk, they contain protein. This protein help us to grow. Then vitamins and minerals that is mostly contained in vegetables and fruits. They help us to keep healthy and fit. So vitamins and minerals keep us healthy and fit. So what do carbohydrates and fats do? Carbohydrates and fat gives us energy and keep us warm. Whereas protein rich diet help us to grow then vitamins and minerals that are contained in vegetables and fruit keep us healthy and fit. Then we learned about digestion. Digestion is a process of changing food into simpler form that can be absorbed and used by the body. What is digestion? Digestion is the process of changing food into simpler form that can be absorbed and used by the body. Then digestive juices from our mouth, stomach and small intestine help us to digest the food. I repeat digestive juices from our mouth, stomach and small intestine help us to digest our food. And the last thing that we studied was cooking makes food soft tasty and easily digestible. I repeat, cooking makes food soft, tasty and easily digestible. Cooked and uncooked food can be preserved in different ways. Okay, and that methods of preservation also we had discussed. Examples were refrigeration, drying food materials. Okay, these were few examples of preserving food. So let us repeat those points that we studied just now. Food help us to grow, give us energy and keeps us healthy. Next point, carbohydrates and fat give us energy and keep us warm. I repeat, carbohydrates and fats give us energy and keep us warm. Next point was protein help us to grow. And fourth point was vitamins and minerals keeps us healthy and fit. So these were the four points that were related to nutrition. Then next point was related to digestion. Digestion is a process of changing food into a simpler form that can be absorbed and used by the body. Next point was digestive juices from our mouth, stomach and small intestine help us to digest our food. So digestive juices that are secreted by mouth, stomach and small intestine help us to digest our food. Next point was cooking makes food soft, tasty and easily digestible. Cooking makes food soft, tasty and easily digestible. And last point was cooked and uncooked food can be preserved in different ways. And those methods of preservation also we had discussed refrigeration, pickling of fruits or uh, drying fruit materials. So these were few methods of preservation. So that was all that we discussed uh, in the chapter so far so the next thing that come up 
will be assignment that I will post separately. Until then, stay fit, study hard. Take care. Bye-bye.